to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be whatever you need to hear right now for your best benefit. Please remember, this is a general reading. Lots of people, lots of messages, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's What You Need to Hear Right Now reading, we are going to have reading number one with the purple amethyst. Reading number two with the malachite. Reading number three with the scolocyte. Reading number four with the sodalite. And reading number five with the red jasper. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not gonna lead you wrong. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the purple amethyst. All right, let's see your signifier out of the pure magic oracle. You get witches, wounds, remedy, magical medicine, sacred heart, another day. So that may have some bearing on the messages you're going to receive here today. Maybe some remedy to something you're dealing with or some magic that will serve as medicine for your soul. Now let's take a look. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Whatever messages group number one needs to hear right now, please, for their best benefit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Page of Cups, that's about fun and socializing. That may be some of the medicine you need. Some fun, socializing, spending time with friends. Knight of Coins. The Knight of Coins says there's going to be opportunity out there in front of you. This is normally related to material things, but it's out there in front of you. You just got to be patient. It is going to be coming in. Justice talks about balance. Balance is going to be very important to you going forward. Also fairness. Make sure that you're approaching everything from a fair stance. Make sure you're not overworking yourself either. I feel like you guys need to focus on fun. You may be working yourself a little bit hard lately. Three of coins. That's about being appreciated for your work. So we've got the knight of coins and the three of coins. The three of coins says you're going to be appreciated. Appreciation normally looks like a raise or a promotion. Um, something material that you receive on the basis of your work being exemplary. And then there's this opportunity. So you're being advised you're going to receive what you deserve for your excellent work. Don't overwork yourself trying to prove yourself. One more. Five of Swords. That talks about worry. You guys are probably worried about something specific. Um, could be your work life. There, It feels like maybe you're working a little bit hard and you need some fun and socializing. Kind of that medicine for your heart here. Um, the Five of Swords, it's, it's worry. We'll get Oracle. See how you step out of it. Let's start the oracle off with angel oracles. So angels, for group number one, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Okay, so Cherish Innocence. That talks about your inner child. That talks about the innocence inside you. That little voice that talks to you that says you need to have more fun, that you're working yourself too hard. It's time to pay attention to that. It's time to cherish that wonderful innocence. Now, let's see the Five of Swords out of Moonology. What is there to add to the Five of Swords here, please? Don't let pride get in your way. Okay, so whatever it is you're worried about, whatever it is that's concerning you, pride may be playing a factor here. So don't let pride overcome you. Don't let pride lead to worry. Kind of um, sweep pride out of the way here. You're going to be appreciated. You're going to be given the opportunities that you need. So don't let your pride play a factor in the situations you're dealing with, especially whatever it is you're worrying about. Now, let's see the three of coins here. Nourishment. Okay, so the three of coins talks about being rewarded for your hard work, being appreciated for your hard work. Nourishment says this is going to be very nourishing to your situation. You are going to have an abundance. Now, let's also see the knight of coins here. Self-love, okay. So the Knight of Coins moves notoriously slow, like very, very slowly. There is an opportunity out there for you that's gonna have a positive impact on your material realm, but it's slow moving. Self-love, very important at attracting those things we desire. So make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make sure that you are doing what you need to do for yourself, which could look like fun and making sure you're incorporating fun in your life. Having a work-life balance that's not just work, work, work all the time. So it's important to show yourself the love that you deserve. That's gonna help bring that opportunity in a little faster. Now for justice. Family. Yep. Okay. That's definitely a work-life balance here. Um, spend time with your family. Spend time at home. Spend time focusing on your home life. You guys are like, there's definitely a lot of work and it's time for you to kind of heal some of that. Now the page of cups for that fun and social love. Beautiful. Yes, so spend time doing some things you love, spend time with some people that you love, spend time having fun, and really let yourself love and enjoy it because the opportunity is coming and you are gonna be appreciated for the work that you've put in. Stop worrying, it do you don't need to worry, you're gonna be taken care of. Find that balance, bring that family time in, make sure that you are giving yourself time with friends and family. This doesn't have to be biological family, it can be soul family. Spend time with your friends, spend time having fun. You guys are working yourselves a little too hard and your message here right now that the guides want you to hear is that you need to focus on some fun for you. All right, that is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the Malachite. All right, let's see where we start with your signifier from the Pure Magic Oracle. We've got Drawing Down the Moon, Divine Feminine, Source, Channel, Stillness. Okay, so you guys have Divine Feminine energy coming through for you. Connection to Source, possibly channeling in energy. You're being asked to kind of experience some stillness so that you can receive these messages. Now, let's take a look. Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. For group number two, please. Whatever messages are in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Five of Swords, you guys are worried about something. So there's some worry somewhere. We'll get Oracle, see kind of what the message is, how you deal with it. 
page of sorts. That has to do with paying attention to the details. It can also have to do with someone watching, either you watching someone else or someone else watching you. The moon, that is fear around decisions. But it can also say that your guides are talking to you in your dreams. Again, we'll get Oracle to see kind of why it's here, but with the fear here and the worry around decisions, there may be decisions you're trying to make that are difficult for you. We'll look for some guidance here. Queen of Coins, that talks about generosity. The Queen of Coins probably represents you here, very generous, loving spirit, you know, kind of wanting to share what you have with everyone around you. So that is a very, that's a very wonderful energy. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed with it, but it is a wonderful sharing energy. And then the Four of Coins. The Four of Coins talks about stable foundations. Um, if it's talking about material things, it says that your financial situation is stable, that you have a good foundation, and you're told not to cling to your money because that clinging to money, that fear around money can um, cause abundance issues. But this also can say that you have stable foundations in general. So again, I think the Oracle is going to have a lot of meaning with these particular tarot here. Now let's start the oracle off with angel oracle. Angels, for group number two please, whatever's in their best benefit. Greet the dawn. All right, so that is also kind of a meditation card. The stillness is kind of a meditation card. I think you guys have, you know, some significant divine feminine source energy messages coming in to you directly. So you're being asked to kind of make sure you get your meditation time in. Now let's see Moonology. We're gonna start with the Five of Swords. What is there for this Five of Swords, please? With regards to the worry, what is the message here? believe in the impossible. So wherever you're worried, you're worried it won't work out, you're worried you won't succeed, you're worried that the messages won't come through clearly. Um, if you're channeling or whatever it is, you know, you're worried that things are not going to work out the way you desire them to. You have to stop the worry, stop the fear, and believe in the impossible, okay? It is time to believe in yourself. It is time to believe in the universe. It is time to believe in the energy that you're feeling. It's time to believe in the impossible because that's going to kind of put you on the upwards path. Now, let's see the four of coins here as well. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay, so there are stable foundations for you and there may still be worry with regards to it. Um, worry that things are not gonna work out the way they should. Worry that you know the rug's gonna get pulled out from under you. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. It's time to expand, even if it's a little bit scary. Let go of that fear. Believe that everything you desire is possible and at your fingertips. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon on the moon. The moon is about fear around decisions, which I do think there's some significant fear around decisions here. But it also says that your dreams could be um, communicating with you. So for the moon, gratitude. Okay. So with regards to the fear, um, I think the focus here probably is on the fear. With regards to the fear about the decisions that you're dealing with, um, there is a, a significant need for gratitude here. That will help you overcome it. So shifting the focus from worry to belief that things are going to work out and also to gratitude for what you have and gratitude for the answers coming in. Gratitude that things are going to work out. That is going to draw in the energy that you desire. Now let's see the spell casting oracle and we're going to start on that page of swords. Why? Hang on. There we go. Why is the Page of Swords here, please? Please clarify why the Page of Swords is here. Dreams. Okay, so this is about paying attention. Pay attention to your dreams. Okay, so the, the dream factor is here too. So it's, it's kind of um, multifaceted with the moon. Like you're being told, don't worry, show gratitude, have belief in your situations, that things are going to improve. And then also you're being told, pay attention to those dreams. You've got source energy coming in. You've got messages coming from, you know, the, 
the universe, whatever word you want to use, whatever, you know, God, goddess, the, the universe source, whatever, whatever your belief system is, those messages are coming in just the same. So pay attention to your dreams. There is something happening in your dreams that you really need to pay attention to. Now, queen of coins here, new beginnings. All right, your generosity, your love, your sharing, your caring with others, that is going to lead you to a brand new beginning. I think that many of you have um, gifts that are going to lead you into a new beginning and um, kind of start things fresh for you. So don't worry about it. Don't worry. Believe that it's possible. Really pay attention to those dreams. That's really important. The dreams are here twice. Pay attention. Make sure that you got gratitude in your everyday. With regards to the stable foundations, it's okay. You can step out kind of on a limb a little bit. The universe is going to take care of you. Make sure you get that meditation in. Your guides are trying to talk to you really significantly here. And then thank you for being the wonderful, generous soul that you are and sharing compassionately with others. That's going to bring in this new beginning for you for sure. All right. That is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the Scolocyte. All right, let's see what your signifier is out of the Pure Magic Oracle. You get Vervain Everlasting, Spellbound, Soul Alignment, Release, and Protection. So those things may have some bearing on your messages here. Now let's take a look. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us whatever messages are in the best benefit of group number three. Whatever they need to hear right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see here. Four of coins. That talks about those stable foundations. Um, could be financial material. If it is material, as far as financial, you have the stable finances, don't be afraid with regards to money. That can cause financial issues. Don't cling to your money. Let it flow in and flow out like it's supposed to. Five of cups. All right. Some of you are focused on a loss of some kind. Whatever it is you've lost, whatever um, you perceive yourself to have lost, it's important to focus on gratitude to break up this energy. You still have many things in your life to be grateful for. So don't leave yourself focusing on the loss. Shift your focus back to gratitude. Now, the chariot. Things are moving forward through your determination, your strength, your drive. You're pushing things forward. So we'll get Oracle and see kind of what the um, advice is on that one. Temperance, that talks about balance. Make sure you're staying balanced. The balance between passion and emotion, work and play. You know, that real healthy balance in your life that we all need. And then the King of Cups. The King of Cups is about love. True, selfless, genuine love. It can represent you. It can represent someone that you're interacting with. But this person has true, genuine, selfless love kind of as their, um, their energy that they just share with others. Now let's get Oracle for everything, starting with the Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number three, please. Whatever they need to hear right now. Universal Heart, you're being asked to connect to the universe. So that is connecting to the planet and earth and grounding and earth energy and connecting to your guides and connecting to others and other souls really like connecting to the fabric of the universe with your heart space energy and making communications that way so really letting your heart speak for you i think this king of cups probably does represent you 
um, very loving and um, it's a selfless love. Like it's a real genuine love. Um, not that you can't have romantic love going on in your life right now. You probably have that too, some of you. But um, this is the selfless love. This is the real genuine love that you just show in, in wonderful, glorious amounts. So you're being asked to connect and kind of let that love flow through you into the universe. Now, let's see Moonology. I want to see this Five of Cups. What is there that can break up this Five of Cups energy, this loss? What advice is there here? A win-win outcome is forecast. That's beautiful, okay? So whatever you lost, whatever you feel um, has been taken from you or has been lost to you, a win is going to come out of this. So even if you can't see it right now, whatever the loss is, a win-win outcome is forecast. So you will overcome whatever the situation is. Don't forget, gratitude is going to be one of the best ways to break up that energy. Now, let's also see the Four of Coins with Moonology. What is there for the Four of Coins? Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so you've got stable foundations. You've got solid foundations, but your dreams are taking you places. The Chariot is talking about all of your forward movement to move from those stable foundations into the growth that you desire, your dreams need a plan for you to be able to kind of take off. So start making those plans so you can make that forward motion. Let's see the chariot at a queen of the moon. What is there to add to the chariot here? Power. Yes, your power is what drives you forward. Make those plans. You have all the power you need to see all the forward motion you desire. Now, temperance here as far as the balance. Blossoming. Beautiful. Okay, so the balance in your life is blossoming and growing like you are growing. This message is really um, just saying to kind of follow your dreams and plan things out and keep experiencing that forward growth. Keep bringing in the love and the balance that you're trying for, the balance that you seek is blossoming and growing for you at this point. Now, let's see the spell casting oracle for the King of Cups. What is there for the King of Cups here? Lighten your load. Okay. So you guys have all of this love that you just give and give and give and give. And you are being asked to connect to the universal heart, which says, you know, your guides and the earth and others and let the love flow through you. And that is super important. But that doesn't mean you have to run yourself ragged. Okay. You can also recharge by connecting to the universal heart, getting into a meditation space, really absorbing that love energy from your guides, um, absorbing the love energy from the grounding in the earth, you know, um, take a walk, get your feet into the dirt and walk on the grass and connect to the earth through your heart space and absorb some of that love to refurbish you because you give so much it's important for you to lighten your load a little bit all right that is all i have for reading number three thank you so much for spending your time with me if you enjoyed your reading please make sure you click that subscribe button until next time love light courage and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the soda light. Let's see your signifier out of the pure magic oracle. You get telekinesis, influence, willpower, control and obstacles so maybe facing some obstacles overcoming some obstacles there are influences in your sphere right now and some willpower playing a factor in some way so maybe your willpower coming in strong or maybe you need a little bit extra let's take a look at your messages angels spirit guides ancestors Please show us whatever group number four needs to hear right now. Whatever is in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Two of Cups, there's that soulmate connection. Soulmates don't have to be romantic. They can be, but they don't have to be. There is a soulmate playing some part in your, um, in your energy right now. So we'll see what the Oracle is on that. Now, judgment, that's a second chance. So possibly getting a second chance with a soulmate. Definitely getting a second chance at something you desire the world that's completion okay that's beautiful energy completing a cycle completing a lesson um coming into completion in some way ace of swords there is a beginning here you have to take action for it i want to see oracle on it to see really what the action has to do with because it might have to do with this two of cups over here but there is an act there is a beginning here where you have to take action to start things and then, ooh, Ace of Wands. Okay, so that's passion. Um, the beginning probably is related to this Two of Cups. We'll, we'll still see Oracle, but there is a beginning. Passion, super passionate. There is action you have to take, though. There is something you have to do to start this beginning. Now, let's get Oracle for everything. We're going to start with the Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number four. Whatever is in their best benefit, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Silence your thoughts. Okay, so calm that mind down. Silence your thoughts. Maybe it's time for a little bit of meditation. Make sure that you're connecting to your guides and your own heart space. Now, let's see Moonology. I want to start with the Ace of Swords. What is there for this Ace of Swords? This beginning where they need to take action what is there what's the message show the world the real you okay so the action you need to take is letting people see who you truly are letting your inner light shine letting people see and experience you now let's see queen of the moon on the ace of wands what is there for the ace of wands here the path. All right. So sometimes our path is dictated to us through our passions. So as you make this new beginning where you show people, show the world who you truly are, let your inner light shine. Just be authentically you. Your passions, following your passions is going to lead you down your path. Your path is going to take you to great places. There's like a soulmate. There is a second chance. There's completing, you know, cycles and lessons and, you know, completing things that are for your benefit here. So following your passions is going to lead you to all that. Now let's see judgment with Queen of the Moon. Faith. You have to have faith that you're going to get a second chance where you desire it. That is super important. Believing something that's going to happen. Believing it's possible. You are going to get a second chance at what you desire. You just have to have faith for it. Now, let's see the Two of Cups out of the Spellcasting Oracle. What is there to add regarding this soulmate connection here? Reconciliation. Yep, you're getting a second chance to reconcile with a soulmate. So that is beautiful. There, You're going to have to... Like, you know, show the soulmate, show the world who you are, follow your passions. That's going to lead you to the reconciliation with the soulmate. Now, the world. What's the world here? Answers. All right. So coming into completion, receiving the answers that you need to move forward. You are going to be completing probably a cycle, um, maybe a karmic cycle. Um, some lessons for sure. And answers are going to come through this. This reconciliation is going to be positive, though. You just have to have faith that you're going to get that second chance that you want. All right. That is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the red jasper. All right, let's see your signifier out of the pure magic oracle. You get astral travels, possible impossibility, freedom, traveler, 
inner dreams. So some of you may be astral traveling and kind of experiencing things in your life through that, um, through that event. There's also some freedom that may be coming into your realm relatively soon. Now, let's see your messages. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Whatever messages are in the best benefit of group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see here. Let's see what you need to hear right now. The Hermit. So that talks about spending time by yourself, but it says you can do it very productively. Like you can use your alone time in a way that takes you further down your path. Queen of Cups, that talks about your emotional maturity, your capability of dealing with whatever is around you right now. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords says you may be experiencing some challenges, but they're not going to last a long time. They're going to be relatively short and you're going to make it through them relatively easily. Justice. That talks about balance. Make sure that you are balancing everything in your life, staying nice, healthy balance, work, play, balance, um, you know, emotion, passion, balance, just, you know, a, a nice, healthy balance in your life is going to be really important. And then the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords talks about action. Um, it could represent you if you have like a very, you know, intelligent energy. Like if you're just, you know, really intelligent, very action driven, then it could represent you. I'm pretty sure the Queen of Cups represents you as well. Either way, um, some of you, the Queen of Swords, yes. Some of you, it's just talking about the need to take action. Now, let's take a look at Oracle. So we'll start with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Archangel Michael. All right, Archangel Michael is the archangel that deals with protection. So there is, and you know, the Queen of Swords is actually very protective too. Archangel Michael is there to provide protection, so just call out for assistance if you feel you need it. Also, he is really good with cord cutting and helping you to leave things from the past behind you. So however you need his assistance, he's making sure that you know he's there for you. Now, let's take a look at Moonology and see what there is to add to the Queen of Swords. What is the message for the Queen of Swords here? A personal issue reaches resolution. So there is action that you're probably going to be taking, but it's going to bring things to a resolution. Like your the issue with regards to protection or the issue with regards to action, it's coming to resolution. You know what? I think I also want to see the Knight of Swords out of uh, Moonology. What is there for the Knight of Swords here? balance spirituality and practicality that's going to help you move through those challenges so that is kind of the way you do and then you're being encouraged that by taking the action that is going to um, bring your issue to resolution you've got balance mentioned here a couple times so balance is going to be critically important for you very very important to stay balanced now let's see queen of the moon and we'll look at justice what is there to add to justice here all this balance discernment okay so the discernment is about your gut instinct it's about following your intuition using your discernment choosing what's right for you almost i feel almost like this is saying choose your battles um, so just make sure you choose your battles wisely, deal with the situations in front of you, stay very balanced. That's going to help you deal with the challenge that you're dealing with. Now let's see the hermit out of queen of the moon as well. Trust. Yes. Trust yourself. You, you have the time in front of you when, and this doesn't mean you're not in a relationship. Some of you may be in a relationship, but everybody has time alone. You know, there's always time alone, even if it's just a little bit, but there's always time alone. In that time alone, you get to choose what you're going to do with your time, how you're going to focus, what path you're going to be on. 
trust yourself to make those decisions and then follow those decisions because you really will be able to follow the path in front of you and excel down your path for this astral travel thing too like some of you really are um connected in that way some of you are travelers some of you are dealing with um dreams that you carry inside you trust yourself to make these connections trust yourself to travel and also just a a word of advice with regards to the astral traveling make sure you're very clear with your guides about um, any assistance you feel that you need now let's see the queen of cups out of spell casting oracle so queen of cups ooh, passion okay so you have the emotional capacity you have the passion inside you you have got this whatever challenge you're facing like your guides want you to know you've got this you just need to use your discernment focus on balance take the action that's necessary and you will resolve everything and above all trust yourself you are absolutely worthy of your trust all right that is all i have for reading number five Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.